The Bay County military community spent the morning showing their respect to those who died serving our country. Uh, many gathered at the annual Memorial Day ceremony at Ken Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, part of today's service included reading names of local men and women who died while serving our country. Monday morning was a time to reflect on those who served our country and are no longer with us. It's not meant to mark the first day of summer. It's not meant to, to get a, a good deal online. Um, it's meant to take time to pause and uh, commemorate those that have uh, sacrificed themselves uh, in service of our nation. Commander of the 325th Operations Group Chris Berthold was this year's guest speaker at the Memorial Day service at Kent Forest Lawn Cemetery. He took the time to read the names of Bay County veterans who gave their lives. Panama City and, and Bay County, like many places across America, had, has had its share of uh, service members that have, have served in uh, conflicts uh, all the way back to World War uh, One and, and uh, towards present day. Uh, so a lot of emotion today uh, in uh, commemorating the service and the sacrifice of uh, both service members and their families. Bay County has a tremendous amount of veterans here, along with our active duty from the Navy base and Tendall Air Force Base. And uh, it's a very, very patriotic town. And it's really wonderful. We really respect the folks in this county for helping take care of our vets. The ceremony also included the laying of the wreath. We have probably 16 different veterans organizations within the council uh, and we're all involved in this as you've seen the walk of honor um, each each post or each veteran organization shows the respect by the their walk of honor to, to the wreath and to wrap up monday's memorial day commemoration as the bagpipes played Two F-35s flew across Kent Forest Lawn. In Bay County, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. In November, Bay County Veterans Council will host the Wall That Heals, which is a Vietnam War memorial, a smaller version of the Vietnam War wall up in Washington, D.C. The wall includes the names of 23 veterans from Bay County and six from Gulf County. One of the